everyone guys, this is Leon, First Archangel Entertainment. We are here live at Royal Visionary, first showcase of the year, and let's see what some of these wonderful people have got for us this evening. as a, a mixture of comic book and tattoo styles uh, sort of like collided together in a like awesomeness I guess is the best way I described it. Uh, my artwork is I do a lot of realistic some portraits. Um, my favourite artist is Renee Grid, so a few things around that. Yeah. Oh gosh, my artwork, it's definitely bold, colourful, there's loads of texture, um, there's lots of enthusiasm and it's lovely to see that being, yeah, represented. Nothing uh, too specific, whatever pops into my head as you can see, it's a bit of a mismatch of everything. Yeah, yeah. Just whatever I've thought in the past couple of weeks or so. I, I just become this different person, I go into a... Uh, I, I see something and I'll go, where's my camera? And I'll, and I'll just take it. Uh, when I'm not doing this, I'm doing events uh, and performing and anything creative really. I'm here for Cassandra's closet tonight. Hi. She uh, makes all sorts of things, so she's she's the go-to girl for costumes. Um, I suppose my inspiration with the mosaics that I do is around strong female characters and, and um, strong female role models, I suppose. Um, with my paintings, I use a, a substance called alcohol ink um, on Yupo, which is a poly blend paper. Um, I'm a Sunset Roller Girl uh, and I escape from Team Australia. Uh, we just came third in the World Cup. I'm here with uh, Avenging Angel Industries, so they've done my hair and makeup, and I'm just checking everything out tonight. And yeah. Um, I'm a mixed media abstract artist. I get inspiration from everything. I'm self-taught, so it's kind of just experimentation, nature, that kind of thing. Um, pretty much, my main influences are like horror and the macabre kind of thing, and also. Western traditional tattooing. A lot of people often think I'm a tattooist. I'm not. <laughs> I just really like the art. So Petalcore is branded as a gothic or alternative florist and the slogan for Petalcore is pretty but brutal. So I like to go towards the alternative kind of quirky out of the box sort of flowers. We've had so many wonderful artists. There's been live painting. We've had people creating amazing installation pieces. Definitely be as creative as you want with your displays. Do something eye-catching, do something different. But of course, keep it to your style, something that'll showcase your work because that's just gonna make people stand up and notice you even more. 